What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the brand new Worlds Collide challenges and prestige challenges that are going to be coming to Fortnite uh, this week, which is August 15th. So the Worlds Collide challenges or missions uh, require you to use a rift, which isn't very hard. Um, as a matter of fact, I think there's a rift at the Durberger head. That's just like outside of Pleasant Park. You can go land at that, take the rift there, and that should be a simple one. Visit a rift zone. There's three rift zones on the map now. There is Retail Row, Tilted Town, and Loot Lake. So just land at one of those three locations and you should be fine. Deal damage to opponents at a mountaintop Viking Village or Loot Lake. Um, fairly simple. Go to the Viking Village or go to Loot Lake and just deal 200 damage. It's not that bad. Visit a memorial to a cube in the desert or by a lake. I will make a video guide on this one um, as this is pretty much the only the only Worlds Collide challenge that actually requires you to locate a specific thing. So uh, the next challenge is to eliminate opponents in the desert. You just need to get three eliminations. Uh, it's not that bad. Search three chests at Loot Lake. Also not that bad. Just go to Loot Lake. There's three chests. Um, as a matter of fact, I think there's three chests that are floating within the rift zone uh, just by the zero point as well. The next challenge is to consume foraged mushrooms. Um, I'll try and make a video guide on the easiest locations for mushrooms because you need 10 of them. Um, as well as there's also a prestige challenge that I'm going to mention in a few here. Then alongside the prestige worlds collide challenges we have to use rifts uh, we have to use four of them i'll make a video guide on all the rift locations that i can that i'm able to find uh you have to search five chests in rift zones so probably the easiest way to do it now considering retail row is going to be quite populated um go to either loot lake or go to tilted town one of those two eliminate opponents at a mountaintop viking village or loot lake um, I'm not really sure which would be easier depending on your storm circle. Personally, I think Loot Lake might be a little bit easier, but I guess we'll have to see where the final circle lands up wherever, whatever game you're in. The next one is to visit cube memorials in the desert and by a lake. Um, pretty similar challenge to the video guide I was going to make anyways, so I'll have a separate video on that. Eliminate opponents at Paradise Palms or Fatal Fields. You have to eliminate four opponents. Um, like I said before, with the Viking Village or Loot Lake, it depends on what circle you're in, so honestly it could be anywhere that you could finish this challenge. Next one is to search chests at Loot Lake or Lucky Landing. Uh, you need to search seven chests. Personally, I feel like Lucky Landing would be easier because Loot Lake, with the rift zone and everything, with everything floating in low gravity, it's going to be a little bit difficult to get chests there. Consume foraged mushrooms in a single match. This is going to be similar to the other video I was talking about before with the easiest consume uh, forged mushrooms. Because um, these ones, you you have to get five pretty close together. So I'll, I'll try and make a guide on this one. These are the three rewards that you get from completing the Worlds Collide missions. You have the Rift Rider Glider from completing seven challenges. Catalyst Spray from completing 11. And for completing all 14 challenges, you get rewarded the Snowstorm Catalyst. That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I uh, hope this was informational. Sorry I'm talking a little bit low, but it's early in the morning. And can't really be that loud. So another video coming out fairly soon on the new Leftovers missions. I'll see you then.